complete the square and determine the vertex. And our first step will be to factor out a 3 from these two elements, but leave the 15 outside. Okay, so 3x squared divided by 3 is just x squared. Negative 12x divided by 3, negative 4x. Okay, so we need to need a number over here that will complete the square. So we're going to take the minus 4x as a negative 4. We'll just take a look at negative 4. We'll divide it by 2, and we're going to square that. So negative 4 over 2, negative 2 squared, positive 4. So we're going to add a 4 and take it away outside but not before multiplying it by 3 very important step whenever we have a number in front we're gonna have to multiply by the balancing number okay so we have y equals 3 that's a perfect square trinomial which factors into x minus 2 squared and that's just plus 15 4 times 3 is just 12 so we have minus 12 y equals 3 times x minus 2 squared. 15 minus 12 is 3. Excellent. So now remember, of course, that if we have a parabola or a, fu a function, sorry, written in this form, a times x minus h squared plus k, these letters can change, but uh, doesn't matter as long as the vertex is h comma k. So in this case our h is positive 2. Because that way since we have minus h it's minus 2 over here so h is 2. And that's the x coordinate of the vertex and the y coordinate of the vertex will be just the 3. Because 3 is k just like over here. So that is the vertex And that is the function after completing the square. So let me just write the vertex down here. That's it.